Hi friends, uh, we're going to do a quick lesson on one of the things you will find in your packet for this week. Uh, it is inflectional endings with spelling changes. It is our grammar vocabulary work for reading. Uh, it says Thursday on it and at the bottom it says page 107. You do not need to do these in any order. It has the days if you want to keep track of it like that, but you don't have to. So let's go through and quickly um, give a reminder of what inflectional endings are. Inflectional endings means when you take a root word and you add an ending and it changes the meaning. We do this a lot when we speak in the past tense. Past is something that happened before now. And it's done when we are speaking in present tense. Present means it's happening now. So it's not in the past, it's happening now, and it's not in the future, okay? So these are the endings that we commonly add to words when we have them. It wants you to do a spelling sort based on how we spell those words and what we do with them. Okay, remember, when we work with these, I love to have my highlighters out. It helps me keep track of what's happening. If you do not have enough colored highlighters, you let me know. There are some in your box at school, and I can get them to you if you won't be picking stuff up this week. So what I want to highlight is the first thing we're going to do is past tense. What do we do? We double the final consonant, add ed. Okay, that's our first thing we do. Okay. Then we're gonna do also past tense. We're going to delete the final E. Remember, final means end. And we're gonna add an ED back on, okay? Then the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna be working with words that mean happening right now, present tense, where we double the final consonant and then add an ING. And that last one that I'm gonna do is also present tense, happening now, we delete the final E and add ING, okay? So what is helpful during this is to look at these words and figure out what is the root word that we're dealing with. So this first one, I'm just gonna box it. Swim, rake. This one is use. Well, how do you spell that? Use, oh. Use. I use a toothbrush. This one is hop, which only has one P, hop. Like. This one is make. Run. Smile. That E is part of smile. It's got that magic E. Take. And then last we have sit. So now I am looking at just the root words and it's gonna help me figure out how I change the meaning of these with an inflectional ending, okay? The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at past tense words. Words that we add ed to to make it something that it didn't happen now, it happened in the past, okay? It already happened. So the first category is somewhere where we double the final consonant. Remember, double means make two of. So I wanna look at words where we double the consonants, where we have two of a consonant, okay? Well, I see swim, swimming, M-M. Uh-oh, are we adding I-N-G? Nope, can't be that one. I'm gonna go and find, oh, here we go. Two T's, two consonants. Nope, that's I-N-G. Do I have another one where I, oh, and N also ING. P, P, oh, here we go. Let's look at hopped, hopped. Where do you guys think that would fit? Did we double the consonant, make two of them, and then add ED to make it, I hopped to school yesterday. Sounds right to me, friends. So I'm gonna write it in there, okay? Now, I'm working in past tense words still. Now, remember what we do? We cross off the word so we know it is done, okay? This one's a little confusing to me, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work in words that, are, that re I'm really strong in, and I am really good at doubling the final consonant. Remember, double means make two of, and then adding ing. So let's go back to those words we looked at. 
swimming. I doubled the M, that's a consonant, and added ING. Does that look like that goes in my present tense? Let's try it in a sentence. Today, I am going swimming. That means it's happening right now. Yes, that does go here. Do you see any other words that would be present tense happening right now where you double, make two of the consonant and then add ing? I'm gonna need two more words to go in here. Good, you're right. Sitting and where's the other one? Oh, where's the one? Oh, right, you are correct. Running. Those are going to go here as well. Okay, go ahead and write those in. Those are doubling, making two, making two of the consonant and adding ing. Then you're going to cross off the words that you've used. We don't want to confuse ourselves. Okay, sticking with present tense, words that add ing, okay? I know I can. I don't have to look at this one because that's not an ing, and I don't have to look at this right now. I wanna find words that mean happening right now, adding ing, so let's take a look at that. Delete the final e and add ing. Oh, do you see any words here where there was an E on the end? That's what final means. Final means end. And we can write that in. Final means end. The end of the word. Do you see any words where we can delete the end E and add ING? Do you guys see any words up there? Hmm. You're right, I see raked as well. What they did was here's the final E and they pretended to take it off and add an ED. So this is what they did with this word. They said, oh no, we're gonna take that one off. Oops, sorry, they added rake, my fault. They had rake, we're gonna take that E off and now we're gonna add ED and now we have raked. Raked, I raked the leaves today, right there. Raked. Raked is what you do with a rake in the garden when you can rake up leaves or you can rake up all sorts of grass. We use it when we're working outside. Okay, raked. That means it's happening now. Okay, do you see any other words? I need two more words that have an ing ending. Oh, did you see what Mrs. Rojas did? Yes, you do. Good job, you guys caught it. Remember, mistakes are okay in our classroom. It's what happens, don't worry about it, okay? Erase, silly me, we are using ing words. So we're not even looking at that one. This is an ing word. So what they did is they took the word take, okay, and they crossed it, that E off and added ING to get taking. Good catch, guys, good catch. That is awesome work, great. So do you see any other words with the ING ending that are left that we could delete the end E and add ING? See any more, two more where they took the E off the end. You are right, making, they took that E off and added ING and using, I am using the phone right now. They took off that E and added ING, very nicely done. Using, using, making is gonna go down there. Very good, friends. Now I'm gonna go back to that one that was really hard. It is always okay to work out of order, friends. We've done this, and we've done this, and now I have one, two, three spaces left, and guess what? I have one, two, three words that end in ED. 
So guess what? They took off this E and they added ED. And this is where raked would go. And that's past tense. It didn't happen now. It happened yesterday, before right now. Okay, might have happened earlier today, but it happened not now, but before now. So what other words are going to go here? Which words do we have left? Go ahead and fill those in. Excellent, friends. Yes, I see smiled and liked. I liked the movie I watched. I smiled at my teacher. Very good. Things that happened in the past. Go ahead and complete those two. Very nicely done. Remember, inflectional endings are those endings that we add to change the meaning of a word, and we use them when we're talking about tenses. It can happen now, it can happen in the future, or it might have happened in the past. Okay? If you have any questions, make sure that you ask mom to send them to me, and we will figure out a way where we can chat about it. Remember, work in the order that makes sense to you. Take your time and just do the best that you can, friends. You are doing an excellent job, and I hope that we can meet very soon. Bye-bye.